When you live with somebody and work with them and spend every single day together, almost every single minute of every day, you kind of uh, start to have little annoyances, right? That, I guess, pet peeves. So that's what we're here talking about. We're gonna share our top five, 10 total, pet peeves in no particular order. We're just gonna talk about them. We're gonna say what they are, give the other person a a uh, chance to retort and then move on. So, here are the top five things that drive each other crazy. No, what is it? So here are the top five things that drive you... So here are the top five things that drive us crazy about each other. I got it out. But you know what? I don't even know if we're recording. Oh my gosh. Who wants to start this wonderful game off? You can go first. Are you saving the best for last, like your last no, one? No, you said no particular order. My last one, though, I think is probably the one that drives me the most crazy. Yeah, mine too. When I say go. My... Go. We go. My number one pet peeve that Blue does that drives me crazy is leaving the cabinet doors open. He has this habit of walking into the kitchen, grabbing a dish out of, or bowl out of the cabinets, and just leaving the door open. And it doesn't matter what, what cabinet door or drawer, actually drawers you shut, but doors, always. And it makes me crazy. I don't understand why you can't just shut the door. Just, just shut it. It just, it's not hard. Actually, and on that note is the dishwasher. Then you're like, rinse the dish, and you just leave it in the sink when the dishwasher is just right there. That's, just, a diff, that's a different pet peeve. No, it's kind of all the same. It's all... But, all right, just put the dish in the dishwasher. The dish. Look, this is what I have to say to that. You get all up in arms about the cabinet doors open, but you go into the pantry and leave the pantry door wide open, no. and that's our food, and it's literally next to the dog. Okay. So there's dog hair and dirt and stuff in the food. It's the same thing, you're leaving the pantry door open. First of all... No, you don't get to say anything else. If we get one response, that's it, then we move on. But that's my turn. <laughs> Such bullshit. We'll stick with the kitchen theme. One of my pet peeves is when Matt is in the kitchen being a homemaker and he decides uh, to take all the crap food, vegetables, whatever's in the sink, you know, that can't go down the drain, and he carries it to the trash can and drips water all the way across the floor, step in it, and then it's like footprints all over the floors. Drives me crazy. And it just feels dirty and kind of gross. Reminds me of dog slobber. If I had a garbage disposal, I wouldn't need to do that. You don't have a garbage disposal when you're on a Yeah, you don't system. get to say anything. You said just as much as I just did. No, I said one sentence. And you went on a whole me tangent. To prove you, wrong. About, no. you can't have a that garbage disposal. That is such <laughs> you're such a hypocrite. <laughs> Go. Second pet peeve is when Blue farts. No. It's not like you're gonna say farts. When Blue gets up in the morning. Like I wake up first in the morning, right? And I like start get the house going. Like start breakfast. Get, get the house getting, going. You go outside and feed the chickens. First of all, I also take, like, sometimes feed the horse. Sometimes I at least give the horse a snack because he's been out there waiting sometimes. since the sun came up. I tend to all of the animals first thing in the morning. I, st I make sure coffee's made. I start breakfast. I get crow's lunch made. I do a lot. But you know what you first don't do? You are cutting me out, and this is my <laughs> chance to talk. So I get the house going, and then Blue finally comes down, and I have a nice, peaceful, calm, like, thing going. I'm waking up. <laughs> and he pulls out the vacuum and he's so aggressive about it and like all I want is like peace and it's like I'm not even really fully awake yet and he comes like and he comes into the kitchen he's running into my feet as I'm trying to like make breakfast and make crow's lunch and he's jamming the vacuum into my feet and like all up in my stuff you gotta step so out loud way. aggressive and annoying first thing in the morning okay that's number two what you don't do in the morning which is the most important thing because it's so cold is you never start a fire i used to but it's crow not won't cold get right out now. of bed no, 
Crow won't even get out of bed because he's so cold. He's like, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to get out of bed. It's so cold in here. It's the ah! I when and it was winter, I woke up every morning. Shh, shh, shh. And when it was winter, every morning I started the fire. It's your home. It's not that cold anymore. You being so <laughs> Moving on. Alright, what's your number two, Blue? Oh wait, are we on number two or number three? Yeah, number two. It's when I go to turn the water on in the bathtub and the shower sprays me in the head because Matt hasn't twisted it back down to the tub. You have to first explain. So like, our showers are the type that have three different knobs. I think people kind of. know how showers work. Why do we turn it back to bath? None of us take baths. So there's like, it's kind of all, there's like a few little things, but it's all under one umbrella. Oh. We're gonna take it to the bed. So when we go to bed at night, when we sleep at night, Blue loves to complain about the covers and how I like keep him up at night. But we go to bed just fine. I wake up in the middle of the night. I literally, I start with covers on me and literally the covers move at least, at least minimum a <laughs> foot from my side of the bed. So I have to like through the night keep inching towards the center of the bed. That's number one of the sleeping habits. Number two, is he has this foot fidget habit that it's just like his foot, I can't even really show you, but his feet just like move all night and they're just back and forth and back and forth. And it's like, you can just feel the whole bed and the covers <laughs> just shaking because he's just constantly up, move his feet. Wake up with my feet, feet all, all twisted in the covers. Yeah. And the third under the bed sleeping umbrella is at nights that he can't sleep. He makes it a point to keep me awake, just to like, oh, to keep it even. No way. So Come I'll on. be asleep, and all of a sudden I'll hear, ah, 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 and the covers <laughs> twist, and then the pillow, ah, and the pillows slap down in between us, and then the pillows move, and it's just like because he can't sleep, so he, not he true. has to make it a point to keep me awake. I just because go downstairs to sleep. In fact, I come to the couch first, and if I can't sleep there, I'll go downstairs. And you should be a little more sympathetic to your husband who has severe sleeping problems. I am sympathetic, but I'm not sympathetic when you make, make me stay awake because you- You know what? Sleep. I'm skipping to my number one pet peeve since we're on the topic of sleeping and not being able to sleep. Let's talk about your snooze button on your phone. He sets it for what? 6? 6, 6.30? Wakes me up for no reason. I don't go to sleep till 3 a.m. It's just yelling. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and then he, you set the snooze, and then I get, I have to hear it twice. I barely sleep. All right, all right, all right. But before we move on to the next one, let's take a second to thank our sponsor for this video. Hello, Fresh. Hello, Fresh. You skip the grocery stores, less time meal planning, and you get that time back to play baseball with your kid. It's so seasonal, so you get like all these different seasonal recipes, and they send all pre-measured ingredients right to your doorstep. Let's pull in some overlays! Some beautiful overlays. Everything's planned out, it's super simple and easy and new. I cook all sorts of new stuff. I have no recipe rut. I have <laughs> no recipe Sometimes rut. we get recipes and I'm like, yeah, this seems like it's gonna be all right. And we end up loving it. Yeah. Even things that you wouldn't expect to we, love you end up really, like, and they always end up being some of the like crow's favorite meals of yeah. the week. We actually have a HelloFresh catalog of recipe cards that we get. The recipes are really good. But even skills, like I learn new skills all the time from using HelloFresh. Like just little things and I'm like, oh, that's Are you sure it's not from Worst Cooks of America? They also have three different meal plans that you can choose from. So you can choose family, vegetarian, or their classic, classic. meal plan. Whatever fits your family, you can pick the day that your HelloFresh arrives. They make it super easy, super convenient, and super yummy. And HelloFresh, they have like all their meals are from $6.99 per serving, which makes HelloFresh the number one meal kit in America. So get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. By going to HelloFresh.com and entering our promo code MATBLUE80. Times that Blue does go into the kitchen, and this actually happens because lunch, I you make lunch a lot, but he just goes in the kitchen and just Disaster. It's like a tornado like just went through the kitchen. What? It's food all over the counters. It's pans left out. Especially when he makes dinner. If you if you let him make sauce or any sort of pasta sauce, it's everywhere. <laughs> and he, it's like he pulls out every utensil that he like he's just like, oh I need a spoon, grab a new one. <laughs> Instead of using the other one that's sitting right there. And towels and pot holders it. and everything's covered in pasta sauce. The walls. 
And then he just leaves all the dishes spread out everywhere. He I, has no concept of like clean as you go. It's just like make the biggest mess possible, use as many utensils and towels as possible, and then leave it for Matt to clean up. When you're having a conversation with Matt, or not even a conversation, you ask him something. Like, uh, uh, did you feed Arliss this morning? Silence. And you said, did you feed Arliss? Thinking like, oh, he can't hear you. And then he yells back, I said yes! He says nothing. I think he answers it in his head and he thinks he speaks it. I do answer it. Sometimes you don't I just say it. it. But it's, it happens all the time, you guys. All the time. With it's a regular a, occurrence. Like one of your biggest pet peeves used to be when I would say, huh? Or what? And ask you to repeat yourself. So now, if I don't hear you, I just ignore you. And two, sometimes I do answer. <laughs> sometimes I do answer you. It's just quiet and you don't hear me. Oh my god, you're so annoying. <laughs> number five. Is this like the number, like the biggest or? Yes, this is definitely my biggest. The biggest. You're the absolute, positively worst boxy driver I have ever <laughs> met. I will not argue with that. You, but like, you're the absolute worst driver I have ever no, met. It is like, now, I don't even drive. It is the best fight prevention for you to just drive because because I can drive. I spent too many years, just like, there's too many fights with me in the driver's seat. But there are so many people who will back me up. If the car is not steering straight on the road, the person in the passenger seat is kind of obligated to be like, yo, get the car on the road. Do we need to take it back to Nashville, our trip in Nashville, where you not only got us lost, but squeached the tires all over the road trying to keep us on? That's Come because on. the speed limit was like 50 in this like tiniest two lane. It was and 25. No, it wasn't. It was like 45 or 50. 25. And it was a two lane and it was so narrow and wide. Residential streets are either 25 or 35, maybe even 45 some places. But I promise you that the speed limit on that road was not 55. It was. It was a small side residential road. It, it was, was not, not 55 a miles okay. per hour. You just, like, you don't. Like. It's funny because my next pet peeve is has to do with the car too. Uh, and this was not my number one. The alarm clock was my number one, but we're ending on this one. Is when Matt drives and he gets out of the car and then you get in and you hit your head or your knee or whatever because he's got the seat so far close to the steering wheel and straight up. So when you sit down, you have to steer like this. Because he just likes to feel big in the car, so he has to jack the seat all. And I like to be able it. to see the road and see my surroundings. When you're down like this, you can't see anything. You're like a little. And then you actually can. You can see out and around you. Oh, because when so you much jack of your the seat up, up here, all you see the is road the hood is, of your car and the, the road, road right in front of there. you. You can't even turn your head to see what's out the side. Yes, because I love. I drive like this. I love driving like this. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> People just think you're resting as you drive down the road. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> 11 years. So long. Do you feel better? You got it all out now? That I got? I, th I felt like you were more worked up than I was. Sometimes it feels good to get it out. Especially with the cabinet doors. Because it's such a tiny thing. Like, I don't, I just don't understand. So is keeping the car on the road. I've never driven off the road. You do, because you're like this. You drive with not, not even one hand on the 12. You have it like one pinky down here on maybe the seven of the wheel. And then you're looking in the rear mirror. She's like, fix your hair. What, what are some what? of your biggest pet peeves? Oh, yeah. About just people in general or your partner, lover, spouse? Child, mother, father. We should put our list in the description and then you guys can tell us, am I wrong for being a backseat driver if the car's about to fly off the road? Am I wrong for not closing the cabinet every once in a while? Every, it's literally daily, multiple times a day. 